Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and this time I have come with another exciting tutorial for cgtutesplus.com. So what's special about this tutorial? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to unlock a hidden mystery in 3ds Max. The name of this locked and hidden mystery is Loom Tool or Loom Shader. Loom Tool is something which remains hidden in 3ds Max. And if you want to use it properly, then you need to unlock this first. So I'll show you the correct procedure. But before that, let me create a small scene for that. So let's create a basic room with the box. Drag the box in the viewport. Scale the box a bit. Adjust it a little bit. Go inside the box. It doesn't show anything for this apply the normal modifier on the box. Now it shows the interior of the box. Adjust it a little bit. Press Ctrl C to create a camera. Adjust the lens and uh, adjust it with the Orbit tool. Yeah, that's good. Now create another box in the viewport. Something like this. I'll use this box uh, as the window. Make it a uh, little bigger. Adjust it here. That's it. Now select the room and go to compound objects, boolean, pick operand B and pick the window. This operation cuts out the window from the wall. Now to give some thickness in the wall, apply the shell modifier onto this. Increase the value of uh, inner shell, something like this. That's it. Now go to uh, lights and create a target spotlight in the scene. Increase the light angle a bit. Uh, apply the shadow as uh, advanced ray traced. Now if you render the scene, it will look like this. Now let's create a dome here. For this, drag a sphere in the viewport. Apply the normal modifier onto this. Now press M to open the material editor. Select an empty slot and give some sky color to the diffuse channel. Make it self illuminated 100% and apply it to the sphere. Now select the room and give something uh, this kind of color to the diffuse channel and uh, apply it to the room. If you render the scene now, it will look like this. Pretty simple rendering with lots of unilluminated parts. So let's change the feel and go to uh, rendering, render setup, uh, assign renderer and here choose mental ray renderer. Now go to indirect illumination tab and you will see that the final gather is on. Now render the scene. It still renders with not much difference. So we need to tweak some options here. Let's increase uh, some diffuse bounce value and uh, now render the scene. Now it shows a bit more illumination in the scene than before. So as you increase diffuse bounce more, you will find the scene more illuminated. One more thing we can do. The light passing area is narrow. So we can increase that. For this, select the room, go to vertex mode and make some adjustments here. By doing so, we allow more light to enter in the room. Once done, then render the scene again. And it will certainly enhance the quality of the scene. Yeah, that's it. For better result, let's change the color of the dome from sky blue to pure white. Doing so will give better result. Now let's create one small ball in the scene. Adjust the radius and its position in the viewport 
something like this that's good now open the material editor choose an amp slot and in the standard tab apply dgs material give the red color in the diffuse slot something like this and apply the whole material to the ball now if you render the scene you will find something like this you can put some more elements um, in the scene like this ball now this is the brightest part in the scene I want to make it more realistic I want to give the feel that there is a very bright and sunny day outside and to give this kind of effect I need loom glare tool loom glare effects on the brighter parts in the scene so let's do that go to render setup renderer go down and you will find camera shaders loom glare works in output click on none and you will find several shaders here but no loom glare loom glare is available but it is hidden there so how to use that in this case <coughs> we need to unlock the loom glare first so to do that first of all save this scene give the name of the file as a uh, room interior okay once you have saved the file just close the 3ds max application now open my computer c drive program files autodesk 3ds max folder mental ray shaders standard include and here search for loom.mi file this is the file to reach to the file you need to go through these steps right click on it and open this file in notepad come down and uh, here you will find loom tools go down and uh, keep searching for loom clear yeah i found that clear and you will see hidden is written here and this is why it remains hidden in the shadow list in 3ds max now select this hidden and delete it now save the file again launch 3ds max let's open the room interior file what we had saved now again go to render setup renderer camera shaders output and now you can find loom glare in the list apply this make it on open the material editor and select an empty slot and drag it here as instance you will find some options here like quality spread value and if you render the scene now you will find glow here you will find the glow around the window and this is what i was talking about and if you increase the quality a bit and then render the scene and see how bright and glowing scene has come out now it depends upon you how you customize the values of quality and spread i have a copy of the render without loom glare effect you can compare these two renders together one more thing if you want to make it a very high quality of render then you need to tweak some uh, values like you need to customize uh, it to higher uh, quality and change the minimum to 4 and uh, maximum to 16 or even more down the spread value to something like uh, 0.8 and render the scene it will certainly take a very long time to render but it will give awesome quality so guys i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on unlocking the mystery of loom tool in uh, 3ds max thanks to hear me see you later this is chandan kumar bye bye